Well, Elon Musk is taking on the state of Delaware. The CEO moving the corporate home of his brain implant company Neuralink from Delaware to Nevada. This after another proposal to move Tesla's incorporation to Texas. The move comes after a Delaware judge struck down Musk's compensation or $55.8 billion CEO pay package. How likely is a move for Tesla's incorporation from Delaware to Texas? Let's bring in Yahoo Finance legal reporter Alexis Keenan. And Alexis, of course, it's not just Tesla. I mean, so many companies have been incorporated in Delaware for many, many years because of the more business friendly environment. Yeah, many, many, many years, Akiko. And in fact, it was New Jersey that used to be the top spot for business incorporations, but it was dethroned back in 1913 uh, to Delaware's dominance, which has proceeded ever since. So a lot of questions have been swirling about whether Delaware could lose that dominant position as a place to incorporate, particularly for public companies, and also whether Tesla moving to Texas will really become a real thing. That's ever since Musk had questioned that invalidation by a Delaware judge in Chancery Court of that $56 billion pay package that he earned in that uh, performance-based compensation for the company. Now, to talk about those questions, I've been asking a lot of questions of corporate legal experts, and what they say is that they don't see Delaware being dethroned anytime in the near future, though a move for Tesla could become a real thing. But look, it's up to to the shareholders if they want to do that. Tesla would have to call if they want to do this before its annual meeting that takes usually late place later in the summer. They would have to ask for a special meeting. They'd have to inform shareholders, let them know uh, when they would want to do this and particularly why they would want to do a move to Texas. And that'll become important. Now, you mentioned there some of the reasons that Delaware has been so popular. One, it's easy to file for incorporation in the state. Also, it's business friendly corporate laws super important. Uh, Texas, for its part, it tends to follow Delaware's law. So Musk might not get that much of a different result in Texas if the same case were to go before judges there. Also, though, the business-friendly court in Delaware, that is of uber importance. And that could be really important to Tesla shareholders because shareholders, they like the predictability that Delaware has these this, this uh, over a century's worth of court cases. So they kind of know what they're getting there. So that could be a significant hurdle uh, for shareholders to vote yes to go to Texas. Uh, also, uh, ultimately, it's going to be up to their vote. Now, if shareholders also, if they think that it's not in the best interest of the company, and if they think the move is for a reason other than for the benefit of the company, they could also challenge going to Texas even after a shareholder vote has happened. So there's a lot of hurdles that really have to take place. Uh, but whether or not it will happen, we don't know yet. We have not seen the company move for this move to Texas, though Elon Musk did post to Twitter in his criticisms of this court decision that he would be doing this immediately. Akiko? Well, you can imagine so many other states watching this closely, looking to really go in and recruit some of these companies. What are some other states that companies are could potentially move to if they're not in Delaware. Yeah, so, okay, so we covered Texas a little bit there. It follows Delaware laws. Texas, though, has made some inroads to establish a business court, much like what Delaware has. Now, of course, that would take some time. And uh, there might be some concerns about home court advantage for businesses that are incorporated there, that are headquartered there, um, as Tesla is. It has its physical headquarters there. Um, but they are working to establish a court, and maybe someday, someday, they might be able to have that kind of influence that the Delaware courts have. You also have Georgia, Wyoming, and Utah also setting up these types of business courts, though not gaining too much traction as of yet. Then you have New Jersey, New York, Illinois, and North Carolina. Those are states where there are special dockets in court for business decisions. But once again, they have not gained the kind of popularity that Delaware has. And one real special outlier is Nevada. 
Senate. Now, Nevada did something uh, very strikingly different about a decade ago. The, the state passed uh, in its legislature new laws that really relaxes the liability for directors and officers and executives of public corporations. They can choose to waive fiduciary duties, all three of the fiduciary duties for directors. So uh, that's one place where companies have been seeking out. And there's actually a case right now that's pending in Delaware Chancery Court where the controlling shareholder of Trip Advisor and its parent company has a litigation uh, where shareholders challenge it, challenged a move uh, of that company from Delaware to Nevada. So we'll be keeping an eye on the result of that case. A lot of potential moving pieces there. Alexis Keenan, as always, thanks so much. Yep.